Hello friends, this is Glam Mustafa and welcome to the FM Electrical. Today in this video you are going to learn a lot of things. So do not skip the video, watch the full video and, and understand what's, what's the installation detail for FHU, Fresh Air Handling Unit. Generally for our homes and where the less capacity of AC are required, we use split AC or window AC but when the requirement is big, then we need cooling capacity big. For that we, we are going to use this fresh air handling unit. This having very high much cooling capacity and uh, so in this video you are going to learn how the new FHU is installed, what are the parts and which type of control panel is used. The power supply requirement for this FHU is uh, 80, 82 something kilowatt. So our breaker requirement is 160 ampere, 3 phase. So let's go to the roof, we will show the cables and the cable tray how we have installed because the cable size is very requirement is 240 square mm xlp armor cable now i have come to the roof and you can see the condition of the roof because if we see any commercial building roof you will see you will find so many services running above this roof so here you can see the ducts and the other things uh, from the this dot corner we have pulled the cable through the cable tray cable tray sizes is 400 width and uh, 100 mm height and we have already pulled the cable actually the cable tray sizes calculations depends upon the cable size and the number of cables this cable size is 4 core 240 square mm cable and is going to uh, this room i will show you this room yeah so I will enter this room and then I will show you uh, what are the services inside this room. We are uh, installing this FHU. So let's go inside. Now you can see in this room there is already one FHU installed here. This is the old one and we want to add one more FHU to make it run one one duty standby mode and the other one uh, one duty and the other one for the standby mode so here you can see the isolator switch and the uh, other cells for isolator switch and how it's installed you can see uh, actually we are planning the MCC panel to install on the wall near the wooden the left because the other area we don't have any place to install very congested area uh, let's go to the other side. I will show you one auto changer panel. How it looks and what are the indicators is uh, here. So you can see here this is the auto changer panel. Auto changer panel required uh, for one duty and for the one standby mode. Means at one time one will be running, one will be in the uh, stop position. So in case of any emergency, the other will start run and the first one uh, stop. So you can see the one is running now, the other one is in off position. Let's go to the other area. For this FHU there is a MCC panel installed here. So the same things we are going to install, new one. Still the work is not completed, so partial works are completed. So this is the old FHU and these are the ducts. And uh, this is the MCC panel, the motor control panel. Here you can see this is live and uh, the frequency is changing and the uh, voltage also is changing. This is 3 phase supply shown here and voltmeter and meter is there already. And here there is uh, control for all the fans that are running inside the FHU. These are the indicators and above you can see the cable how are installed and the cable type this is the another control panel and you can see the GI piping so here these are the ducts supply and return 
and uh, this is the small capacity of FHA the same and uh, inside this room you, you will see these are the pumps booster pumps used for uh, water flow pressure or chill water chill water also used for the FHA because for uh, loading the temperature making the air cooling it's very important uh, role for the chill water pipes this cable we will put inside for uh, MCC panel now you can see this big size FHU it was very difficult to bring it on the roof because uh, it's very heavy and anyhow installed but it came in part now we assembled, we assembled in all parts in one and uh, now you can see the structural view the plinth we have installed for this heavy FHU and this plinth is uh, bolted with uh, roof you can see and here I will show you this is the heater so three rods of uh, thyristor are installed here for the heater in the, for the winter season and uh, I will show you the other side this is the pressure switch in that we can get the reading how much uh, air flow is going inside this is the supply fan uh, outlet you can say inlet the above, above of this one is uh, for the supply so this supply duct is going to connect with uh, the existing FHU supply duct because uh, at one time only one will run other will in off position but the combined duct will be using so here uh, this duct will be connected to the existing duct and uh, this is the supply duct till that part already completed from that to this has to complete I will show you the other area the supply fan front side chamber I will show you here how this looks like the fan blade this fan is very of higher capacity and it's uh, some some capacity of air is very much high so you can see and uh, this is the exhaust one and this is for the uh, fresh air fan I will show you the other side this is the fan supply fan and the terminal box you can see above and the fan blades and this chamber you can see how the design are here the capacity of this is posted on the main plate and this is called the chill water it keeps very important role for cooling the temperature because inside this the cooling water chilled water are running and two pipes are there one for supply and the second for return in the return we will install one actuator and through the actuator we can control the flow of chilled water according to that the temperature will be changed you can see here I will install one actuator and this wall is for the future the reason you can see and uh, these uh, pipes are insulated because uh, for keeping the temperature cooler and cooler we use insulation and uh, I will show you this duct 
this duct is for uh, return this return duct will also connected with the existing return duct supply duct and the return duct both should be connected with the existing duct supply duct to supply duct and the return duct to return duct and this return duct is uh, still not connected uh, with the FHU because still the works are going on the ducts are already fabricated but still not connected after completing of this uh, work I will make another video and I will give the full detail for that one so now I came to the return duct near the existing and this this is the new duct going to the new FHU actually the downside we didn't have any space so what we did we hand through this support still support okay thank you so much i will make another video for uh, mcc